Hey guys, it's Brianna Carly and I am back with another video. I know y'all noticed something different. Who's rocking a different hair color? A bold one at that. Who laid that? Who made that? So the topic I want to discuss today is growing your channel. First and foremost, I want to say I am at 100 subscribers and I appreciate everybody who has been subscribing and watching me and also leaving comments. Thank you and I really appreciate it. And a shout out to my co-workers too who have who've been uh, following my channel and making fun of me. But once again, thank you to everybody who has been subscribing and I hope people continue to subscribe, share, like, comment, and all of the above. So, I know I'm only at 100 uh, subscribers, so I can't give too much advice. And it's not a thing of me giving advice, but this is like the stuff I've been looking into. When you are trying to grow your channel, you literally have to do everything for yourself. Research, um, look at the information YouTube gives, uh, read their policies, their guidelines, and things on like the copyright policies. And I say you have to do the research for yourself because you can't just depend on what these YouTubers say in their videos or whatever about how to grow your channel. You can't always trust the methods that some of these YouTubers say that they've used to uh, grow their followers. Not followers, but subscribers. Same difference. Um, some of them will cheat their way to the top and then when they finally reach a number that they're comfortable with or whatever fulfills their vanity purposes, they will then make videos on how they got there and they're just giving you some bull jab. And it's not even true. That's not even the advice they took for themselves or anything. There are a lot of people who are out here that are really focused on just a subscriber count rather than the quality of the content they put out and stuff like that. And when you have somebody who's telling you how to grow subscribers, just start taking looks at their previous videos and see what their views look like. You can tell when there's just like something's not consistent with the amount of subscribers you have versus the views you get on your videos and your audience retention and if people are actually looking at your stuff. A lot of YouTubers, especially the small ones who want to make announcements when they reach certain milestones, they will tell you, you know, be consistent. Try to keep a certain schedule when you upload things. Um, make sure you have good quality content. Well, I mean, you will be able to tell when it's good quality, I guess, when you start retaining uh, audience. Um, create interesting thumbnails and things that you can post up. No, create interesting thumbnails and like catchy titles and stuff like that. Don't just um, type, oh, my summer vlog. You want to make a title out of something that's actually searchable. Well, sometimes they say, uh, follow whatever trends. I mean, yeah, follow those trends, but if it's like totally out of it for you and you just like can't sincerely commit to whatever that trend is, don't do it because we'll be able to tell, like the audience will be able to tell they're just forced. Those are great things to do to try to grow your channel, but a lot of people who are giving you the advice didn't take it themselves a lot of them are doing sub for sub which um people talk badly about uh it's not the best thing it's not good for, it's not good for your channel at all and um it it puts you further down a totem pole of like being picked up and being you know in the cycle of other youtube videos these people will give you all type of advice, but leave out the fact that they hardcore sub for sub for two days or two months. I mean, okay, people do it like sub for sub. If you want to reach a milestone for whatever reason, sure, go ahead and do it. Honestly, I needed 20 more subscribers, so I went on and did that because I wanted to reach um, my 100 mark so I could create my URL. And now I'm like the hell with that because that takes entirely too much work. If I'm going to put that much effort into getting a mug that don't care what I'm posting to sub to me to then be snatched away anyway. No, I might as well use that energy to get my ass up. 
and film something. I didn't create this video to be throwing shade at people, um, but I'm just saying for people who are heavily hardcore searching up videos on how to grow your channel, don't always believe the hype, especially those people who are saying, oh, I grew such and such amount of followers in just one week or this, that, and the other. Like, don't believe the hype all the time basically what i am doing as a small youtuber trying to grow my channel i am trying to be as genuine as i can i am trying to be consistent because lord knows i don't feel like putting on makeup a wig or getting in front of this camera sometimes um i am trying to promote myself on my social medias i am trying to be more engaging on my social medias and on my youtube um I made a joke it was like youtube is starting to feel like blackboard discussions because here i am i'm like watching your videos these videos and like giving descriptive comments because i want you to know i watched it i want you to know i'm supporting and stuff like that like i feel like everywhere is a blackboard discussion like yeah the sky is blue and i believe it's blue because xyz also like i'm really putting myself out there and trying to be social like it's so awkward i've even been talking way more in a lot of women's group that i'm in because i want you to see that oh this is a nice person let me check out her facebook let me check out her twitter or whatever and then you go and you see the links on my page and then you know possibly go visit my channel and subscribe but like i said no shade to anyone no shade to the people who do sub for sub hardcore to fulfill those vanity purposes of having a high subscriber count but i just want to grow genuinely so i can actually have subscribers who actually watch my stuff and so i can also build the watch time and i don't want to have a thousand subscribers and only have 21 watch hours so slow and steady wins the race